Are you moving to Billings, Montana and want to be just like the locals? Here are some things that you need to know before moving here. Okay, first things first. It snows a lot in Montana and Billings some years it's a lot of snow and sometimes it's not. This year's been pretty mild, but you want to make sure to have snow tires or an all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive vehicle. Make sure you're driving something capable just to even get around town. Sometimes it can take a while for the city to get all the roads plowed and the neighborhood streets aren't any better. Are you a college football fan? If not, you're going to be. Bozeman is home to Montana State University the cats. Missoula is home to the University of Montana, the Grizzlies. So you're either a Cats fan or you're a Grizz fan. And if you're a fan of neither, just pick one and go with it. Grizz fan over here. So there's this one time I sat down at a restaurant and was looking at the menu, checking out the appetizers, and I saw Rocky Mountain Oysters. Oh my gosh, where I come from, oysters are everything. I love me some fresh, raw seafood. I'm originally from the East Coast. So I was like, what are these Rocky Mountain oysters? They're bull testicles and they're fried. And nope, I still never tried them. It's probably the only local thing I haven't done since moving here, but you should try it. So speaking of being from the East Coast, if you don't know my story, I am originally from Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, DC. And I moved to Montana six years ago. I absolutely love it here and I haven't looked back. Um, but there are a lot of things that when I moved here, it was a bit of an adjustment. I didn't know all the local lingo and things. So here's a story for you. I went inside of a gas station to pick up some snacks and drinks. I was going on a road trip, probably to a national park knowing me and the person working asked if I wanted a sack and I must have given the most blank stare ever and I'm pretty sure I said what's a sack I had no idea that a sack was a bag so remember how I mentioned it snows a lot in Montana when the snow melts it's very wet like puddles I'm like in parking lots when they have to plow a parking lot, the snow is like halfway up the light pole, you know, those big, huge mounds of snow, and it takes forever to melt. And sometimes it's like summertime and the snow is still melting. Make sure you have waterproof shoes, like muck boots, hunter boots, sorrels. You wanna wear waterproof shoes even when it's like sunshine and beautiful out, or you're gonna be walking through some massive, dirty, puddles. So if you want to wear some beautiful flats like this, just make sure you're carrying those waterproof shoes with you in your car. Trust me, you're going to want them. If you're outside enjoying the beautiful outdoors and trust me, you want to soak up those sunshine months and you see sagebrush, there are rattlesnakes for sure. Billings is near the Yellowstone River and oh my gosh, that river is absolutely beautiful. I've done a lot of activities in and around the Yellowstone River. And one of them, being a mom, my kiddo had football practice near the river one time. So there's a town near Billings called Huntley and his practice was over at their park and it's pretty close to the river and the mosquitoes are crazy. So if you're lucky enough to live near a river or have a river view, you're probably gonna have mosquitoes too. So be prepared to have something on your skin to protect you from all those mosquito bites. Hunting and fishing is huge in Montana. A lot of times people rely on it for their food. People will go hunting to have meat in the freezer for their families. So maybe you don't love hunting or fishing right now, but don't knock it till you try it. Last but not least, it does not cost next to nothing to buy property in Montana. I'll never forget when I told a friend that I was leaving Virginia and coming to Montana. They were like, oh my gosh, are you getting lots of land out there? <laughs> Little did they know it's actually cheaper to buy land back in Virginia.
It still costs money to buy land or buy a home on land out here. Just because we're out in the West doesn't mean it's all manifest destiny, wild, wild West, whoever's here gets it first. That was a long time ago. So just keep that in mind when moving here. What's great though, is I feel like overall the cost of living is less here in Billings, Montana. I would say groceries are a little bit more than from where I came from in Northern Virginia, but transportation, you'll pay a lot less in transportation. You're gonna spend a lot less time in the car. There's a lot less traffic, so less fuel expenses. Unless, of course, your job has something to do with driving. If you have to drive throughout the state, if that's your job, then you're probably gonna spend a lot on gas. But overall, the cost of living is a lot less than the national average. I get calls and emails every week from people looking to move to or sell their home in Billings, Montana. If you have any questions about either, feel free to reach out to me at this contact information right up here, and I will answer your questions or even provide you with my free buyer's or seller's guide. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all things real estate with the Montana Real Estate Mom. Until next time, bye.